Facing keyboard issues on your laptop? In this video, I'll walk you through several effective troubleshooting steps to help get your laptop keyboard back to working condition. Whether your keys have stopped responding or you're experiencing intermittent failures, these solutions could provide the fix you need. Let's get started. First up, let's tackle some basic troubleshooting steps you can do right now. Start by checking your keyboard settings. You'll want to navigate to the control panel or your settings menu, whichever you prefer. Once there, look for the option labeled Keyboard and ensure that the filter keys feature is turned off because this can sometimes prevent the keyboard from responding correctly. Now, if that doesn't do the trick, a good old-fashioned restart can often clear up many issues. It's simple, but effective. Restarting your laptop can resolve minor hardware or software glitches that might be causing your keyboard to malfunction. So give these a try and see if they help get your keyboard back in action. Moving on to a more advanced step, let's talk about updating your keyboard drivers. You'll want to open the device manager on your laptop. You can do this by typing device manager into the search bar on your taskbar and clicking on the result. You might be wondering how you can follow these steps without being able to type. Don't worry, you can use the on-screen keyboard to interact with your laptop. You can access it by navigating to the ease of access settings in your control panel and turn on the first toggle, use the on-screen keyboard. Alternatively, you can right-click the Windows button in the bottom left corner of your screen and select Device Manager from the menu that pops up. Once you're in Device Manager, find the section labeled Keyboards and expand it to see your keyboard listed. Right-click on your keyboard driver and select Update Driver. Then choose the option to search automatically for updated driver software. Your computer will then search for and install any available updates. If updating doesn't resolve the issue, you might need to uninstall and reinstall the driver. To do this, right back in the Device Manager, right-click on your keyboard driver again, but this time select Uninstall Device. Follow the prompts to remove the driver. After uninstalling at the top of Device Manager, click on Action, and then scan for hardware changes. This action will prompt your system to reinstall the keyboard driver. Give these steps a try to see if they solve your keyboard problem. If you're still facing issues with your keyboard, another helpful tool is the Windows built-in hardware troubleshooter. This can help find and fix common problems. To run the troubleshooter, open your settings. Just click on the gear icon in your start menu. Once you're in settings, navigate to the update and security section, then click on troubleshoot. From there, you'll see an option for additional troubleshooters. Click that and then scroll down until you find keyboard. Select it and click Run the Troubleshooter. This tool will automatically detect issues and attempt to fix them. It's a straightforward process that can often resolve lingering problems with your keyboard. That's it for this video on how to troubleshoot a non-working laptop keyboard. I hope these steps help you get your keyboard back to full functionality. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tech tips. Have any questions or did any of these methods work for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.